Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the Higher Grounds Podcast and today's Morning Minute Meditation. Glad you tuned in today. And just simple little thought I'd like to talk to you about today is the subject of our past. You know, all of us have a past, needless to say, and there's all of us have something in our past we regret. Now, I will say I've heard a few individuals in my life that have very mockingly said that, you know, there's nothing in my past I regret. There's no decision I regret making. I can say those individuals either weren't the brightest bulbs in the box or they were just lying. Because if you get down to the matter of the fact and you look, all of us have something in our past we regret. It was an action we did we wish we could take back. A word we said we wish we hadn't of. A decision you made that you wish you can go back and tell your younger self not to do it. At the end of the day, all of us have a past we regret, and that's a lot of times we struggle with, especially among Christians, I find. A lot of times we get saved, we're now serving God, and yet our past life, before we got saved, things we've done, and even sometimes things after we got saved, it haunts us, and, you know, we just can't get past those things. But there was a good little uh, poem wrote once. I'd like to read it to you real quick if I could. It goes like this. I've shut the door on yesterday, its sorrows and mistakes. I've locked within its gloomy walls past failures and heartaches. And now I throw the key away to seek another room and furnish it with hope and smiles in every springtime bloom. I've shut the door on yesterday. I've thrown the key away. Tomorrow holds no fears for me since I have found today. You know, like I said, all of us have things we regret. All of us have things we wish we could do differently, make a different decision, all that kind of stuff. But at the end of the day, if you don't deal with your past, then it's going to deal with you. And you have to make the decision on what you're going to let define yourself and what who's going to make decisions for you. If you let the past decide for you, then no doubt you'll relive that past you regret. If you let the present decide for you, and since the present is affected by the past, you're probably going to end up in the same situation as if you let the past decide for you. And you can't let your future decide for you because future hasn't come, so you that's not an option. So what is going to decide for you? Well, at the end of the day, it's you. you got to make the decision because your past is gone, the future hasn't come, all you have is the nasty now and now. And so it's your choice. What what decisions are you going to make in the now? Are you going to make decisions you're going to regret? Or are you going to make decisions, for lack of a better word, that you can be proud of? It, at the end of the day, it's your choice. And it is a difficult choice, I will give it to you. It's a difficult choice. But if you don't make it and you let your past or your present or future, whatever it may be, decide for you, you're going to wish you had made that choice. It's a simple thought, my friends, but I do hope you have. A blessed day.